Hi, and welcome to our motorcycle exhaust guide. In this section, we're looking at the difference between slip-on exhausts and full systems, both of which are bike-specific parts, so make sure to use the bike finder tool on our website. So every motorcycle exhaust has three main components. So up here, we have the header. This is where it actually collects the exhaust gases from the cylinders in your engine. The header runs down, and then it joins into the mid-pipe. This is a section that brings the exhaust fumes towards the back of your motorcycle. It's normally where any air fuel sensors or even the catalytic converter will sometimes be incorporated here in the midpipe. After that, we get back towards the muffler itself. This is where the noise magic happens. This is the part that actually muffles the sound and it's where those exhaust gases actually exit the exhaust system. Obviously a full system replaces the entire thing from header to muffler. And on the other side, a slip-on is just going to replace this can portion at the end. So I have a slip-on here to show you. Take a look at it right here. So this is a slip-on. It's affectionately known as a can because it kind of looks like a can. Um, and these really have all the style benefits of a full system. Because the mid-pipe and the header are normally hidden underneath the motorcycle or behind bodywork anyway, the slip-on exhaust can have all the style benefits of a full system. It also will have all of the noise benefits because this is where the noise is modified on your motorcycle right before it exits uh, the exhaust pipe. So a slip-on exhaust will have all the noise benefits of a full system there. The downside is really in terms of performance. Because the exhaust gases are already flowing through your stock header and mid-pipe, you're not going to get much horsepower or torque gains with a slip-on exhaust. In the same way, you're not going to get much uh, weight saving potential here because that mid-pipe and that header are going to remain stock. There's not a lot of potential here to actually save weight with a slip-on exhaust. Of course, they are cheaper, they are easier to install. You literally just slip it onto the mid-pipe and clamp it down. Now, if we're gonna go back to our full system, obviously, you're gonna have a lot more weight saving potential here because we have the full header to muffler being replaced. You could save almost 20 pounds off your stock system. In the same way, we're gonna be able to get much more high flow through a full system, and that can result in up to 15% uh, top-end horsepower gains. These, of course, are more expensive. They're also harder to install. Um, you're gonna have to replace some gaskets up here at the header. You will probably need some servo eliminators for the air fuel sensors here at the mid-pipe, otherwise your dashboard is just gonna light up like a Christmas tree. Uh, you may have to take the center stand off of your motorcycle uh, in order to install a full system in the same way that passenger foot pegs could be affected. So the installation is just a little bit trickier, but again, not impossible. It's really not worth basing your decision off that. So should you get the full system or should you get the slip-on? Well, the decision really comes down to what you're looking for. If you're just looking for style and sound, then I would say get the slip-on. Save yourself the installation hassles, spend less money because you're gonna get all those benefits from a slip-on exhaust. But if you want style, sound, and performance, then I would say get the full system because that's really where the performance gains are gonna be for you. That's it for this section on slip-ons versus full exhaust systems. We have more coming up in this guide, but for this part, thank you for watching.